Welcome back to the channel, a channel that is all about crafts. If you're new here, thanks so much for joining us. But if you're stopping by, please consider subscribing and joining this family. All of my main is part over here. But if you're part of the family, you already know. I love and appreciate you. Thank you so much for coming back. Okay, so today it's gonna be short and sweet. Today, <laughs> so today I wanted us to talk about rapture predictions, rapture estimations. Um, the day of the Lord coming back estimations. What is going on? Let's get right into okay. it. Okay. So lately I've been seeing a lot of teaching, especially online. I've been seeing a lot of teaching about rapture. The teachings about rapture are good. I am for them. I'm rooting for them. People need to know about the returning of the Lord. Jesus is coming back. People need to know. People in churches, people outside churches, everywhere. Everyone needs to know that Jesus is coming back. That is good. That is good teaching, right? That is very good. But predicting when the Lord is going to come, like almost to the month and the date, the year, how did we get there? How do we get where people actually, <laughs> actually do a teaching on estimating, on predicting when the Lord will come, the month, the year, and even the day? How do we get there? How do we get there? Because how, 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 how did we lose it? Because we were coming all right. We're teaching people about the coming of the Lord, which is good. Then how, how, how did it get lost? Like, when we are now estimating that um, in 2035, the Lord will come back. Why? Why are we doing that? Okay. Let's read. Let's read. Um, uh, guys. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Because I was so I was so proud. I was like, yes, the Lord is at work. We are preaching about the returning of the Lord. Jesus is coming back. We are telling people, repent, repent. Jesus is coming. Rapture will happen. It's going to happen, right? And I was like, yes, we are moving to the right direction. We are reminding people. We are even reminding Christians that have been born again for years. We are reminding them that the Lord is coming back, right? And then angas guti basi ya twist ega gopi ya lasega sasa 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 estimate sasa sasa spend most of our time just trying to estimate just trying to guess when the Lord will come back exactly. Okay, let's read First Thessalonians chapter four. We'll start in chapter four and move to chapter five. Right? Okay, chapter four. We're gonna read over seventeen. It says. Let's start from verse 16. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a commanding shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet call of God. First, the believers who have died will rise from their graves, right? Then, together with them, we who are still alive and remain on the earth will be caught up in the cloud to meet the Lord in the air. Then we'll be with the Lord forever. This is where the word rapture kind of comes from, from verse 17, because a lot of people I know are probably going to argue that rapture is not even in the Bible, but this is what we mean, because Apostle Paul said we are going to be caught up in the clouds with the Lord. Right. Litigate. So encourage each other with this word. Okay. We move to chapter five. It says, now concerning how... Now concerning how and when all this will happen, dear brothers and sisters, we don't really need to write to you. For you know quite well that the day of the Lord's return will come unexpectedly, like a thief at night. Unexpectedly. Unexpectedly. 
when the people are saying everything is peaceful and secure, then disaster will fall on them. And suddenly, as suddenly as a pregnant woman's labor pains begin, and there will be no escape. But you aren't in the dark. But these things, dear brothers and sisters, and you won't be surprised when the day of the Lord will come, Labkithif. For you are all children of the light and of the day. We don't belong to the darkness and night. So, be on your guard. Not sleep like the others. Stay alert and be clear-headed. Night is the time when people sleep. Drinkers get drunk, but let us who live in the light be clear-headed, protected by the armor of faith and love, and wearing as our helmet the confidence of salvation. See, see, where people actually make a series, where people actually make um, an episodes of teaching the month, the year, the day when the Lord will come back. Liti, it will come unexpectedly. Amanyati, it will come suddenly. Guys, Gwanzagan, what exactly is happening? Because, like I'm saying, I was, I was very proud. I was saying, yes, we are moving to the right direction. Yes, the Lord is doing a new thing. Yes, we are preaching what we are supposed to be preaching, Right? I've been seeing a lot of pastors, seeing a lot of churches really out there ministering, evangelizing, telling people that Jesus is coming back. Like, I was happy. I was like, yes, we are moving to the right direction. People should know. People should be reminded in my mind that Jesus is coming back. Utupola, be alert, be on guard because the Lord is coming back, right? Hi. Yes, Sahambagashi. I'm going to say, but teacher, uh, in 2035, uh, this is exactly when the Lord will come back. How is that helpful? Why are we doing that? Because the Bible says suddenly, literally it will be like a thief at night. Why are you teaching us now for us to expect the Lord in 2035? Why? Why? Guys, look how thick this book is. Look how big this book is. Out of everything in this book, out of almost everything that is in this book, when you just decide to sit us down and predict when Christ is going to come back and say this is a revelation, this is a teaching, why are you even doing that? Like, why? Because there is no revelation. That will come from God. That will contradict his word. There's no way. People are in churches where they're being taught to expect Christ at 20, 30 something. And why? Why don't you see that as a problem? Literally, suddenly, the Lord will appear. Sad, literally like a thief at night. I, I, <clears throat> so now you are changing this whole, this whole verse, this whole scripture. And you're like, no, this is when we should expect the Lord. The Bible clearly tells us that the only way we can be alert and on God is by looking at the signs. The Bible continually teaches us the signs that we should look out for before Christ comes. Literally, there's no need for us to know the exact date. Literally, even so, Christ himself doesn't know the day. Only the Father does. We are figuring out when I guess the Father knew know the day. Because you are out here teaching us that in 2040, exactly this is when the Lord will come. Guys, I move. It's not even important. Guys, everything that is in the word of God it is enough. This is all we need. That added information that you're trying to come up with, that your pastor is trying to come it's not necessary. Because the Lord knew we can't continue to fully live if sesleli ut. And say, no. I want you to be a little and be on God. That's what I want you to do. And so Paul, like, do not sleep. Be clear-headed. Nothing is going to happen. But be, be on God. 
Bugama signs, the wars that are happening in countries, the crime, the corruption, the disasters. These are the signs that you need to look out for. And then it goes on to say, Those are the signs we are talking about. That is the information that is important. That is the information that is in the word of God. That we should be teaching people. That we should be taught. In 2042, Bombay, Guys, this is the problem we have in Mabandlin. Tina is about something we don't know. This is why we continue to, te to sit in teachings that are not necessary. The fact that you are sitting in your church while they are teaching you the exact year and the month, and sometimes even the day when the Lord will return, it shows how much you don't know your word. It shows that you don't know your word. Because why are we sitting on um, the constantly teaching us or to know in 2030? Why is that important? Because what is going to happen? The next sign is going to happen, and then someone is going to come and say, I am Christ. Because I don't know my word and because I was not taught the right information, the relevant information. There's no way, there's no way a revelation that comes from God will contradict scripture. But I, I don't know. Like, people are now predicting. Good to know. Why is that important? Suddenly, suddenly, we don't need to know the day, the year. We don't need to know it. In this thing, Ugienza, is to look at the signs, is to pray, is to be alert, is to be on God, is to not sleep. I don't know where the confusion is because we have been told. When Paul is explaining this, what is going to happen, the Lord will come, let those who were dead first will rise up, right? And then we'll be caught up in the clouds. And then the believers will... Like, he explained this thing properly. I don't know where the confusion is. And then he went on to say, there is no need for you to know the time or the day. Because it will happen suddenly. But that's again, what you need to do, my information is saying in jail, be alert, be on guard. Be clear-headed. Aye. Mm-mm. Guys, yes, <laughs> no. Like, get from this one. Get from this one. I'm not keeping my dad. They are writing. Oh, what he? I'm a boy, I'm in 2014. No, June. Uzo can you get Uba on guard? No, ma, when in order for you to be on guard, you need a date. You're like, no, I, I can't be on guard and just, and just wait around. I, I need a date. Guys, everything that is in the word of God, everything that God has told us in his word, it is enough. It is enough. And be alert and be on guard, that is enough. It means it is possible. It means we can do it. It means it is possible. He already has a plan how we're going to survive in this time. He already has a plan. He knows. Like, you don't need to give us any information that is not necessary. There's no need for teachings of 2035 in June, um, maybe in 8th, 15th, Lane, lane, lane. When there are a lot of signs that you can still teach about, that should be broken down. Mahatu Poli, be alert and be on God. What exactly does it mean? Yeah? Let's break that down. Help us to understand that. Good. O Paul Mahati, be alert and be on God. O Shukti. Mahati, do not sleep. Like a man says, we. O Shukti, go to Manjang, go to your soul, go to your soul, go to your Like, let us, let us break it down. Yeah? How about we talk about things that will actually help us? In the book, see, again, about June 2052, I, 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 I go see the date. We go 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 and zenga ma bomb good anga show. So I figure get when I, I guys, and for you as I'm learning to sit in those teachings, take out your diary, write. It says a lot. It says a lot about you. It says a lot about how you read your word and how much you know. It says a lot because here you are writing. 
the predictions, the assumptions. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. No. Thank you so much for watching. I'm coming down below. Have you heard this before? Have you heard this teaching before? Like, actually being taught when Christ is going to come back. And also, I'm curious because I, I didn't watch this, this videos. I just saw them. I'm very curious to know, after you have been told to, to know Christ will come back in 880 or May, what then? Then are you being taught again now to be a letter on God because May? Like, I wonder after that teaching, what is being taught? Eh? Okay, fine. 2035, May, he'll be back. Ne. Then, after that, I, I really wonder what's then the teaching. Eh, like, this is what you do, like, now that you know the day. <laughs> Comment down below, let me know what is your take on this. And, um, yeah, maybe let me know if you are someone that really does believe that we should probably have um, an estimation of the year. Um, yeah, let me know what, what is up with that. What is the revelation behind that? Because I totally don't understand it. I don't think it's necessary. According to the word, it's not necessary. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so very much for watching. But Jesus loves you more. I'll definitely see you next time on my next video. Bye.